On a day-to-day -day basis, if you're working uh, with a client, what kinds of, I saw that you your website says there's, it's data-driven insights. Yeah. Yeah. What kinds of um, solutions or work do you, and data do you look at for, to, to help yeah. to help those companies? So it all depends. Um, so it's a, it's a it's a legal response, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys should be well aware of that. Um, so yeah, from a it, it yeah it depends because each organisation's they're all on their different journey. They're all on a different spectrum of of maturity. Um, some are bigger than others, so they've got different pain points. So. We're still on a journey where we're experimenting quite a bit in terms of trying to find, you know, what really does and doesn't work. But, and you know, I guess a quick response, you can look at different factors in terms of um, getting insights from people. So at the moment, a lot of the, the current methods are very much um, reactive. So when you when you look look at measuring like engagement, they all do engagement surveys. They might do them once a quarter or whatever. But again, it's the the questions they're asking. It's it's about things that have already happened. So what we want to troll that we currently do on, on, for some of our clients is look more proactively. So we can do a number of things, and depending on again the circumstances, um, we can look at more of those lead indicators. So I know we'll get to talking about stress and burnout. But there's there's a lot of uh, measures there that you can sort of look at in terms of lead indicators for those. Um, so then organisations, whether or not, depending on if they've got an existing support network, they can then dr drill down into the individual level. But if there's privacy concerns or issues, then you can sort of then roll it up to an anonymised um, aggregated cohort level. So you can sort of then look at things, whether or not it's um, workload or change in um changing roles and, and those sort of things that impact on the stress and burnout, you can we can feed automated sort of questions out to that. But also things like uh, with apprentices, we understand a lot of the challenges that they go through. Um, there's, there's a lot of, again, research out there that currently in terms of uh, why they leave, so the intentions to leave. And again, they a lot of them come back to a lot of those stress and burnout factors. Um, but also there's things like, um, I always keep coming back to Dan Pink. I don't, I'm not sure if you're aware of him, but he wrote the book Drive and he looks at these three markers, essentially autonomy, mastery and purpose. And, and within, within any organisation, if you're, I guess, dealing with those three factors in some form or another and you're doing them well, then you're going to have a, a happy workforce. So when it comes to apprentices, a lot of the reasons when you look at why they leave, there's um, a lot of them are workplace related. So 75% is workplace related. But then when you drill down into those, a lot of them you can't actually change. So it could be things like rates of pay. You can't actually change pay or you, you can, but you're probably very limited in terms of what you can do. And pay in itself is a, it's a demotivator as opposed to a motivator. So again, all you can do there is actually then start creating workplace environment where you're encouraging people to want to come to work every day. You're um, managing those expectations. And again, that all comes back to that communication piece. And again, if you've got the two different levels, you've got your supervisor and your, your apprentice or even a young person, whether it's a trainee or a graduate or whatever, and you've got those people and you've got their boss, uh, manager, leader, whatever you want to call it, and they're just disconnected in terms of how they communicate, then then you're going to get one person that's going to be disgruntled and disillusioned and just walk out the door if they think that's the easiest option. Mm -hmm.